Reproduction is an essential and important part of every dog's life, yet many people are surprised by the way dogs behave during this process. Often, the act between a female dog and a male dog can turn into a somewhat alarming scene. This happens because something unique occurs with dogs and other members of the canine family during this natural process. They seem to get stuck. In this quick video, we will explain why this phenomenon happens, why dogs seem distressed during the process, and whether or not you should intervene. The Reproductive Process the reproduction of dogs is a complex process that usually starts with courting, where both female and male dogs send signals to let the other know they are ready for this natural behavior. Once they have completed the process, the male dismounts from the female, which is fairly common. However, the strange part happens only at the end of the session, when the male positions himself directly behind the female and faces the opposite direction while you'll notice that they remain physically connected. Getting stuck is a common natural phenomenon, and the dogs don't really have much control over it. It's simply a phase of the reproductive process, technically known as a copulatory tie. There isn't a fixed time for how long dogs remain in this position. It can last up to one hour. The dogs get stuck together because several things are happening while they are connected. To understand the reproductive process of dogs, we first need to look at how the male's anatomy functions. All mammals have two types of tissue in the reproductive organ. One tissue makes the organ rigid, while the other causes swelling. In most mammals, these two tissues activate at the same time. However, in dogs, the organ is already stiff before the reproductive process begins. The part that swells only starts to happen after the male is already inside the female. Thus, the swelling and rigidity of the organ don't happen at the same time in dogs, which is what causes the tie when they get stuck. When the male enters the female and the reproductive process occurs, the male's organ expands significantly, increasing three times in width and twice in thickness compared to its usual state. The female's body also reacts to the situation. The muscles begin to contract and tighten around the male's organ. It's this contraction, combined with the swelling of the organ, that traps the dogs in this position. At this moment, the male lifts one of his hind legs over the female's back and stands directly behind her until the swelling goes down. The two dogs will remain in this position until the male's organ returns to its normal size and the female's muscles relax. The tie helps to keep the reproductive material inside the female dog, which increases the chances of her becoming pregnant. Some theories suggest that the reason the male and female dogs face opposite directions is a defense mechanism allowing both to monitor their surroundings, although it may also simply be a matter of comfort. If you find two dogs that are stuck, do not try to separate them. Although the dogs may often whine, whimper, or even bark, it's important to understand that this process is completely natural. Separating them can be dangerous and cause harm to both, potentially even causing injury to their organs. After some time, the male's organ will return to its normal size, and the two dogs will be able to separate. Even if you feel uncomfortable because you don't want the two dogs to reproduce, you should not attempt to pull them apart. The male dog will already have completed the process, and there's nothing you can do to prevent fertilization at this point. Trying to separate them only increases the risk of injury. Interestingly, this behavior is not exclusive to dogs. It is also observed in most canids, including wolves, foxes, and coyotes. Trying to separate them can actually hurt them. And did you know that you might be doing simple, everyday things that are deeply hurting your dog's feelings? In this video here on the screen, I talk about those things, which, if you know about, you can avoid. Click on the screen and stay with me in the amazing world of dogs. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up to this video, because besides helping me, you're telling YouTube that you enjoy our channel.